If you don't have the funds for paid marketing and you're just getting started in junk removal, I want you to check out this video. Because what I'm going to discuss is ways that you can leverage channels like YouTube and other places and accumulate knowledge that will help you build a business to get you to the point where you have the funds that you can leverage to use for Google Ads or whatever the case may be to grow your business, website, you name it. So one of the advantages that we have today in building a business is something like YouTube, where I can look for any kind of information and get it in an educational format without paying for it. And obviously, you know, if you compare this to 20 years ago, it's pretty unheard of the type of opportunities that we have in regards to building something that we literally might not, might not even know anything about. And sometimes I think we forget that we have access to that. And of course, you're here watching this channel. So when I normally talk about these different areas of opportunity for your business, it's because I want to help you take your junk removal business to the next level, whatever that may be. And I want to do that in a platform that's free for you to utilize. So that if you're starting off, which a lot of us, when we're in the beginning and we're starting off, we don't have the funds to leverage and put to work for us to help grow the business. So if that's the case, then you have to leverage time. All right. So if you're in that position, what you should be doing is you should be using your time on different YouTube channels, learning about the business, learning different ways that you can get business, and then putting them into action. Please don't forget the second part, putting them into action, because a lot of you will watch videos, learn, and not implement. Make sure you're doing both. Sometimes, because of that, it might be a better idea to not get a bunch of information all at once, and instead, get a little bit of information, take action on it, and then once you've take it, taken action or put together an action plan, get more information, and then take action on that, all right? There are a lot of great channels on YouTube for junk removal, all right? Whether you're listening to my channel here, Sonoma Strong is one that I know a lot of people like and has some great content. Alex from Planet Haulers, one of my clients, is a YouTube channel that's helpful. He talks about a lot of things that people um, can get good value out of. There are so many out there just do a simple search for junk removal and start checking out some of these clips because you have this kind of information at your fingertips to help you learn and implement ideas that can help take your business to the next level. It's just sometimes I think we're stuck. There's so many different things that we need to do or we're able to do that we don't quite know where to start. And my answer to that is... Just start somewhere. Don't let the overload of information put you in a position where you do not take action. So for me, if I'm learning, I want to acquire a little bit of information. Not too much, but just enough that I can take action on, see if it works, and then get more information down the road and take action on that. So step by step. So... Instead of trying to go up 10 flights of stairs at one time, I'm taking one step at a time and taking action. Okay, next thing, take action, so on and so forth. So I know some of you are going to watch this and you feel stuck. You have the information. You don't know where to start. Just pick something, all right? Make sure you're taking action, though. Don't just be a learner and not implement what you're being taught because it's useless. You can read all the books in the world, but if you don't take action on what you're reading, you're just a reader. It's not going to change anything. All right. So I, th I think that's it. You know, knowledge is power. It is, but it's not power if you don't put it into, into action. So break it down into actionable steps that you could take. Limit the information as you're digesting, but digest the information. And when you do take action on it, or, or at least put a plan in place. And YouTube's a great place to start. So. You know, if, if you're in that position and you're watching this right now and you're like, Blake, I'm growing a junk removal business right now. There's so many different things you talk about. Where do I start? First thing, build a Google My Business. If you haven't already, do that. Make sure you have one built out. 
then focus on your website. Have you built out a website? Have you put something in place that your future customer can go to and do research on you and get some social proof? All right, well, if you haven't, let's start putting that together. The relationships, start building relationships, all right? So piece by piece, step by step, keep doing these things. All right, you Google My Business is Created, let's start getting reviews. All right, your website is created, great. Does it have the content that we need to, to get you in front of customers and not just the ones that you're sending to the website? So just keep adding to it, all right? Some of you were a little impatient. It takes time. These people that you were watching, they weren't overnight successes. They put the work in. They took the time. You, you have to let time be on your side. It's going to be a lot easier for a junk removal company who's three years in that has been consistently putting the right things in place for the last three years than it's going to be for you day one and month one and month four. So understand that. And take advantage of the time to build those things out to where it is easier in year two, in year three, in month eight, in month nine. Because if you don't do the work now, it will show in year two. So just take those daily actions. That's all it's about. Actions day to day to get you to where you need to be. Break it down into chunks. Trust the process. Do your research. Continue to continuously tweak, test. But do something. And take action and use and leverage platforms like YouTube to learn from people who have already done it. Or hire a mentor if you have the money. There's so many different ways that you can go about it. But if you're watching this video and you don't have the funds to just hire someone like myself or anybody else to run your Google Ads or have a lavish website, then what you need to do is learn and leverage the time that you have to then create the business you're looking to create to eventually have the money to give you the capability to do those things. So make sure you guys are continuously learning and continuously implementing. I hope this helps. If it does, give this video a like. I'd really appreciate it. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Thanks, guys.